So vlog one and two taught me a couple of things, especially vlog number two, a couple of amateur mistakes I made. One, if you notice, vlog number two was very short. I had gotten on my bike to head down to the point that I wanted to go and shoot the time lapse. And on the way, I had recorded some audio with my phone. I'm an audio guy. Why do I make these mistakes? I run audio in stadiums. What's wrong with me? I don't know. But I recorded on my phone, and as you would imagine, wind blowing by the phone on a bike and down by the river. Not, not a good idea. So then I made mistake number two. I set up on top of a platform and it was a perfect viewing angle. However, it was an aluminum platform on top of marshland. So already the platform was very flimsy. And then while I was up there, people began to come up and walk around and also take photos from the platform. And as they walked on the platform and bounced around, my camera started bouncing around. And I didn't think it was gonna be that noticeable on a still two second mode time-lapse. Uh, but at least to me, it was very noticeable and it was very frustrating while editing. And then finally, amateur move number three of that vlog also had to do with audio. That's a really cool light flare right there. Look at that. Huh. Um, I had recorded audio talking about what I was doing while the time lapse was going and it was incredibly windy out. And again, I was just shooting on my phone because I was using both of my cameras already. So my phone was the only viable camera left for vlogging and I didn't have a microphone or any type of a dead cat or anything to be able to muffle the audio, muffle the wind. So the audio just sounded terrible. So luckily that sunset, at least in my humble opinion, was a very nice sunset. So thank you mother nature for saving my butt on vlog number two. Hopefully the audio on this vlog works out a little better. So where are we heading to tonight? Tonight I am heading up to one of my favorite spots for viewing, but one of my most frustrating spots for handling crowds and parking. It is a very small parking lot and it's very heavily guarded by rangers. And they're very particular about where you park and right around sunset, it gets incredibly busy. So we will see how it works out. I also got a message on Google Maps that looks like it may actually be closed still, but I think that's just out of date because I think everything is, I think at least all state and county parks are pretty much open at this point. Either way, this is a fantastic viewpoint of San Jose and pretty much all the South Valley of Silicon Valley. It is stunning. So there's not a cloud in the sky tonight probably won't be the colors from the last vlog, but hopefully it should be a pretty uh, clear sunset without any obstructions because of where I will be positioned. So we'll see how it goes. Vesta was in fact closed. I think there was road work going on, but I ended up finding a spot right where it says no parking, but it doesn't say no stopping. So I'm stopping until I'm told to move, but I'm not leaving my car. Still fantastic view of the bay. And I think I'm going to get some good shots in here. Also, I have my tripod set up on top of my car right now. I just have it set up right on top of the car. And I think I just realized a really annoying flaw issue is going to be that if I get in or out of my car, then it's going to shake the tripod. So not a great idea on my part.
that went really well. I ended up getting the full time lapse as well as a bunch of extended exposure shots after the sunset. So we'll see how they turn out. Pretty cool. This wraps up episode three. You were right.